Tom from Horizon Hobby and Spectrum RC here to give you another tutorial on the iX12. This tutorial will be covering the audio events, which is a very broad uh, menu that can do a lot of great things. And I mean, really, what we're going to cover here is just going to be a small portion of it, but we're going to give you some tips and tricks and shortcuts. So let's get to the screen. So the first thing that I want to show you is volume, of course. So over in the top right hand corner, you'll see that there is a, it looks like a speaker with some lines coming out of it, indicating volume. We'll tap on that, we'll tap on that, and we've got a volume slider. You can volume, go up, down, or you can mute it with that one down there. We're going to turn it all the way up, and you just tap off now, the volume's all the way up. So audio events, uh, there are a couple of shortcuts that you'll run into. So we'll look at, let's say we go to binding. We tap that. You see where it says alerts down there in the bottom right hand corner? That is an audio alert. So you can change what it says when you bind it. Uh, so we tap on the alerts there. And these are all the audio events that are set up for binding. Uh, I've got it, so it says bindification when I tap, when I go to binding. Pretty funny. So just a quick shortcut there. Now we're going to go to the actual audio events menu. That's in the model setup down there in the middle. And we're going to scroll down to audio events. It's on the right column. Tap that. And these are all the audio events that we can change and customize. There's a lot of them. We're just going to cover a couple of them that I feel are important. But we'll, you know, if you guys want to learn more, check out the manual. So one thing that I like to change right away is I don't like hearing the sliders on the back when they get to center, they, go to, they make a beep. So just to change that, we're going to hit center tone. So we'll see if there's a center tone for every control. And then you see where it says L lever, R lever, and R knob. Those all say tone. We can change those to whatever we want them to be. I'll hit none because I don't want it to make that tone. It can be kind of annoying. Unless you really need, unless you want it to be there, if you're using those knobs, leave it on tone or change it to wherever you want. But I'm going to change it to none because I'm not using them. That way, they're not a distraction. We'll hit back. So now, when I flip, when I move those sliders, I, they don't ever, they don't, they no longer beep. <coughs> Next thing we're going to go ahead and set up is trim reports. This one's really cool. I really like this uh, setup because you can set it so that when you trim, not only does it make a beep it will tell you how much trim you've gone. So like, and we'll make an example of it, but if you click it twice, it'll tell you how many times, how many steps of trim have gone that way. So that's pretty cool. Let's check that out. So we've got throttle. Let's say we're gonna do rudder. That'll be an easy one for me to access here. It says tone, tone, tone. So you've got left tone, middle tone, right tone. We tap on that, we can change that. So if we go to trim release report, that's when it's going to tell us, and this is real simple, you just hit that slider there, it's going to tell us when we let go of the trimmer, how much trim we've got. So you just tap on that, go back, and we'll go back to the main screen just so you can see. So I'm going to trim the rudder. Four left. It just said four left. Do it again. Eight left. Eight left. And we can go back to center. Two left. Zero. Zero. That's pretty handy. I love that. That's a great thing that we've just added to this. It's brand new with the iX12. Another audio event that I really like that I feel is helpful for pattern pilots, iMac pilots, anybody that needs to practice a routine. So instead of having a guy next to you that tells you what the next maneuver is, you can have your iX12 do that for you with stepping reports. So we'll go ahead and show you how to do that. I have it set up to do some a couple of simple ones. We'll just go into stepping reports there on the left, and this is in the audio events. And we set up a switch, so we would add one, press this plus button to add something, but I've already added one there, but you can see how it does that. And then you hit the arrow on the right-hand side there to customize it. And I've got it on the switch I, which is the button. So every time I press the button, it's going to say my, my step, my next step, and then my next step. So we'll kind of test that out here. Four-point roll. So I hit the button once, it went to four-point roll. Hammerhead. Hit the button again, hammerhead. Half Cuban. Half Cuban. So we can make as many as we want of these steps, your whole routine, essentially. Um, and so every time you hit the button, it'll do that until the end. Or if you hit auto cycle, if I hit it again, since we hit the end of our steps, Four point roll. it'll go back to the beginning. 
So if you wanted it to auto cycle, that's fine, or you could use it so you'd have that off. So once I get to half cube in the last step, it will stop. If we hit the button again, it won't say anything else because that's the end of our routine. Another audio event that I would like to cover is custom reports. Custom reports is exactly that. It's you flip a switch and it will report whatever you want it to. That's from telemetry information to just saying something. You could type in whatever you want it to say, or you could have it play something. You can actually download MP3s and WAV files and in, and set it up so when you flip the switch, it'll play a song or some sort of other sound bite that you want it to say. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're back in audio events screen, and we see custom reports in the top right hand side. We'll tap on that. To add the report, we hit the plus sign, tap on that. And to customize this report, we'll hit the arrow on the right there for that report, we'll tap on that. And it brings up this custom report details screen. You can choose your switch, your frequency, or what it will say. Switch is essentially the switch that you want it to activate this report on. We'll hit the inhibit there. So it brings up a drop down screen here. You can choose it out of the list, the switch you want it to report on, or you can simply flip that switch on the radio. We're going to choose switch C. These boxes here, those are at what position the switch is going to report at. Right now nothing is selected. We're going to select one. So in the one position, when the switch is C is in the one position, it's going to report our report. Frequency is how often it is going to say that report. If it's an inhibit, it's only going to say it once, or we could choose every 10, 15, however many seconds between that report when it'll say it again. We'll leave it on inhibit. And then when we see here next to voice, we have a different number of selections that we can choose. Voice, essentially if we tap here and type in whatever we want, that's what it's going to say in the voice of the radio. Or, what I like to do is set up my own custom sound. So I downloaded an MP3 and we're going to make it play that. So you hit Tone. That's the first part of setting up your own custom MP3 or WAV file. You, you hit Tone, you tap on the same line. And so I downloaded it directly onto the radio so it goes to the Downloads folder. And we can kind of scroll through. And there's my MP3. We'll hit Confirm it'll bring up this list here. So it'll look at the downloads directory and it'll say, okay, you've got this many MP3s or WAV files, whatever is valid for this, for this use, and you can select it. We'll hit OK. We'll go back. So now when I flip the C switch, So custom reports is one of the more creative ways to set up audio events. You can do essentially whatever you want with it. Uh, but that's just one of the many things that you can do with audio events. And there's a lot more that you can cover, which is in the manual. Or if you have more questions, hit us up at horizonhobby.com.